And welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. Welcome back to the Pratt Cave. Right, we start off with a bit of a recap. In fact, a recap over the many, many years. You've been watching me for around about oh, six and a half, nearly seven years now. Blimey, I've been on YouTube that long. I don't know, not where the time goes. And I've been using a Canon 700D. That's been my workhorse. Here's a little picture of it. Now, we have recently bought a new camera. I've been saving me pennies. I've now got a 77D Canon, which I'm filming on now. This means I've got two cameras. Really, Paul? You can add up. Yeah, two cameras. So it should make filming easier. I don't need that makeup girl after all and those extra people to help me film. Mm. We'll see how it goes. I mean, thanks to everyone who's been subscribing lately and watching the channel. Long may it continue. Back to this week's video. Second part of the recap is the Volvo we've been working on, the filthy howling diesel, dirty diesel Volvo. We're now gonna concentrate on the leather seats because they're utterly disgusting. Now, I'm not gonna show me vacuuming the car out, doing the stalks and everything else and because it's just a pain in the back. Literally, it hurts. But we are gonna show you how to clean the leather. Geist Leather Care Kit, got two of these. This is the three plus care kit. So this is designed for three years plus. This car is older than three years. And the other kit we've got is for new cars up to three years old. And that is the minus kit. Don't worry, I will put the links to both these products underneath this video. So it's time to go and get my back well and truly um, screwed up. That's the word, I was gonna say something else, but yes, we're gonna get very, very achy, very, very quickly and get on with cleaning some leather. Get yourself a nice cup of tea. You don't need beer. Oh, you might, yeah. I'm not gonna need one after this. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm teetotal. Oh, God, roll the video. So here we go then. Thanks to Royal Mail for delivering my new camera late. This was shot on the older one, my trusty 700D. So we've got lots and lots of bum juice going on from the car that's done 150 odd thousand miles. Passenger side, a little bit less wear, but just as much grime. And on the steering wheel, we've got it caked in finger juice. Nice and shiny, with all the buildup of sweat. Same story on the handbrake and on the gear knob. Or gear shifter, if you're in the US. Door cards, yep, they need a little bit of attention as well. We can treat those. So on the left, this is the one we're going to be using. This is a three years plus because the car is older than three years. And that's the one on the right you'll use with a car that's new or up to three years. In the kit, you get a brush. You get the diet friction blocker. You get a plant-based cleaner. You also get a conditioner, some applicator sponges, and two cloths. Passenger side on this, not too bad as far as wear and grime is concerned. But we are going to be doing this anyway. We do all the seats in the car. On the front of the bottle, you get this gauze that helps agitate the chemical. If you give that a good hard tug on the bottle, easy. You get the nice foaming action. Do not worry about the overspray. I know what you're thinking. Oh no, it's gonna stain. It doesn't, this is plant-based. There's no nasty chemicals in it. No staining occurs when you're using this. The one thing you are gonna have to do is take your time. Just take your time, relax, and just work it in, and just keep working it in until you think you've got it all the way into that grain. And the foam in action will help lift all the grime to the top, and then we can get rid of it. So you don't have to use these. They're in the kit, the cloths. You can use your own microfibers if you so want to. I suggest you use white ones and you can see how much muck you can remove. So apart from damage on the seat, yeah, nice. Have a look at this. So that's just from one set of cleaning. So moving on to the rear, the back of the seats, not the rear of the car. We'll get to that in a bit. Not too bad. We've got a little bit of back sweat residue on this. I know Sean, my friend that drives this, is a keen gym goer. Work it in. Just take your time. Don't rush this. 
Next up, leather conditioner. Now, we're gonna use the applicator sponge to just massage this into the seat. Note of caution, you need to leave this one to two hours minimum. You need it to cure. And then once it's cured, just buff it off. If you're a workshop based, if you're a hobbyist, enthusiast, and you can afford the time, come back next day and then apply the blocker afterwards. Now, when it comes to steering wheels, what am I actually doing? Well, because it's got damage on the steering wheel, I spoke to the guys about this and they said, don't use a brush. I will explain the word used to do this at the end of the video, so stay right to the end. But I'm using this, let's just call it an adult hand motion to massage it into the rather worn leather on the steering wheel. We don't want to use the brush because it can cause damage and you can get dye transfer. Yeah, greasy, nasty. So once you've done this, and then just wipe off the residue. It's quite frightening what comes off your steering wheel. Yeah, that. Next up, this area. Mm. So this part, bust the brush out. You're gonna have to work this into the, oh, I'm terribly sorry, the adult areas. Don't forget how many times you put your hand on that knob. And because it's got a grain in it, you need the brush to get into it. So once again, don't worry about overspray. This won't stain anything. Yep, that's fine. So, door cards. This actually works really well on door cards. Plastic, vinyl, whatever they are. So you do this a number of ways. You don't actually have to use the brush, even though it's textured, if it's not that bad, just use a microfiber and work it in. On this side, I tried it with a brush. She had some horrible dirt really ground into that door handle area. What I did find was you have to really work it to buff it off though. A little bit streaky right towards the end. And the same on the dashboard. What you didn't see was me vacuuming this out and two inches of dust on the dash. So this is the friction blocker. You need to apply this on the leather surfaces after a couple of hours or overnight and it will help the dye transfer, it will stop dye transfer from denim. This is the conditioner. So we're gonna go back with the conditioner. I'm gonna condition the, yeah, the knob and the handbrake. This should help prevent any cracking, stop it from drying out, and just overall improve things, to be honest with you. So the steering wheel is, in fact, worn on the back of the rim it's got a little bit of damage if you have a worn steering wheel i will put a link where you can get steering wheels refurbed underneath this video so these were the results at the end this was the next day not bad for a car that's done 150 odd thousand miles so i'll let you enjoy the glory shots then we're gonna go back to the pratt cave and discuss the products. See you in a bit. Oh, 
I swear to God, that Metro's got some radar in it. Every time I hit record, the car pulls up. My wife knows when I'm filming. Unbelievable. Love her to bits. I wouldn't be here without her. Anyway, that is the truth. So, guys, leather care, what do we actually think about it? Did it work? Well, yes, it did. Even on a car that's done 150 odd thousand miles, we managed to revitalize the leather and then protect it. Hopefully, for quite some time. Now, using this brush, a little bit of stiffness to it, works its way into the grain. All the dirt and the grime is the stuff you can see impregnated into the grain of the seats. And I actually edited this video down. What you didn't see was me going for quite some time to you know, really get in there. You've got to really work it in. You can, of course, use a microfiber if you haven't got really bad seats. You know, you might want to use one of the sponge applicators. If you've got any of these lying around, you get these in the kit anyway for the conditioner and for the, uh, the blocker. But Works very, very well. Saw by the 50-50, nice results. So when it comes to doing a steering wheel, I quote, this is what I got told by a certain person, Gary, pro, detail, pro detailing. <laughs> masturbate the steering wheel. Yes, masturbate the steering wheel. That's what he told me and that's what I did. Yes, and it works. And the reason for this is if you go in with a, a harsh brush or a detailing brush, you may get uh, dye transfer come off. Now what you can see on the cloth may be a little bit of both. It might be a bit of dirt and a bit of dye transfer. So be careful, test an area first. I mean on this car, it, that steering wheel, it's going to need a refurb. And by the way, they do leather refurbishment at Pro Detailing. I'll put a link and a link to Geist underneath this video. So if you've got worn leather seats and they need a refurb or door cards, anything, go check them out. So when it comes to the conditioner, very, very easy to apply using this. It's not draggy, it's not messy, but you are gonna to have to leave this for a couple of hours. Now, if you are a mobile guy, I'm sure you can do the interior first and then do the seat and then, or you can do your carpets first, do your seats and then leave it for an hour or so. Hour, two hours, if you're workshop based, it's fine. If you've got a studio, detailing studio, it's not an issue. You can leave it till the next day and then apply the blocker. You have to leave that gap from the conditioner to the blocker. All the destructions are on the boxes. That leads me to say thank you for all, hello, there goes the brush. Unbelievable. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing of late. We are trying to push out more videos. Um, hopefully with two cameras, I can get more videos pushed out. There's gonna be a little bit of a break in between because I'm off on my hauls, but I'll try and get another video out done before that. Keep subscribing, keep putting your thumbs up, interact with the channel and check out all the other videos which I have sat on YouTube for you to enjoy and go and check the podcast out. Thanks ever so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Teddy boy, I'm off for a lie down after that. Whew.